there! You must be the new builder! I mean, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet ya! I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me! This way! Over here! Howdy there! I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a buddy that's your, uh, uh, supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway, see that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the Blue Moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> It's pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for ya. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. leave you a work table, that should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But 
but I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Woo. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Hello. Take it easy. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now.
Hey, I'm unsure. A member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan, or the aggressive Gieglers. You should be careful. Hello. Be seeing you. Arm yourself with the weapon of fashion. Let Sand Rock's very own Pablo take you for a pomade fuel joyride through the hairscape. Destination, a newer, better you.
<laughs> Hi there, Builder! Special delivery! Hi! I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Oh, hey! I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super, yeah, cool. The Jasmine Co. official Sandrock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakmel Ranch. Notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Oh, you can see the Yakmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like... <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Ta-da! This is Martel's Oasis. Miss Martel was the first mayor of Sand Rock and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Wow! Yeah, that's right! You got it! You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water! That's our slogan! If we run out, um... I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Mardo's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sand Rock. RVO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, Mr. Pablo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along.
next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. And this is the last stop on the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the Research Center and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. Tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much. But you do, so I think that means we can be good friends. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. No need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. <laughs> I trust you'll bring Telesis to Sandrock and Beale. Bye. No need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> the main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So, now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, She's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. You're a new builder, aren't you? Charm, to be sure. 
I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think you'll find our price is hard to beat. Oh, that's right! Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. Hey! See ya! You must be one of the new builders. Well, justice is my name and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Civil Corps. Hey there. So long, partner. I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. I, the Magnificent Pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Splendid! Let's go! You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness! If you ain't tough, desert will chew you up and spit you out! People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me! Come and attack me! I won't fight back! Let me see what you can do! <laughs> Is that all you've got? Don't tell me you- Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? <laughs> Did I just feel pain? Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. Now it's my turn. Stand still, this won't hurt much. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Enough, I grow weary of this. Time to end this! And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled, Never Mess with Pen. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Well, hello, 
there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then, and congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. saying emergency come now as well wonder what's the emergency listen here you lazy mop stick me and my boys <laughs> have had it up there we go where's our uh, head, huh? Oh, look! Rocky! Oh, buddy, old pal! Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait! No, Rocky! No, look! Well, what I really meant is... Uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage, and he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. 